Hello guys, Michael Fowler here again, and today I am reviewing the Hungarian 75M gas mask. Now I know that this is going to be a shorter video, and I apologize about that. This is just a mask that, it's a little bit of more brief history that I'm going to go over for it, because this is just a pretty simple civil defense mask, and as you can tell, this is about as rudimentary as a gas mask can get. So, in 1975, they started producing these to replace the 67M, which was basically the exact same mask, but without this big leak piece. It wasn't plastic. It had basically a GP5 assembly here. Um, mine is a later one, for the record. Um, the difference between the later and the earlier versions of these masks are the later, or the earlier versions, rather, I'm sorry, the ones that were made in the 70s have a black rubber on the inside, and the later ones have a gray, and that's the real distinctive feature, so mine's a later one. Um, mine is a size 3, one being the smallest, four being the largest. There were size zeros that are very rare, and there were also hoods for this mask that are also very rare. Um, this was eventually succeeded by the CM4 for civil defense purposes, which is a Czech gas mask, and it's kind of an interesting story. Um, when they went to get rid of this mask, they actually were looking at other countries because the company that made these and the 70M, well, they couldn't produce more 70Ms for civil defense. That wasn't capable, They weren't, or wasn't possible, rather, um, because they didn't have enough... Um, machinery and tooling for those masks so they ended up outsourcing to Czechoslovakia and buying up their CM4s um, which actually worked out well for everybody um, they ended up replacing those in the early 2000s um, anyhow um, uh, there are hoods as I said that are very rare you do see them out there sometimes the uh, masks were uh, kept at a uh, civil defense um, stock houses basically and you can see videos of this on YouTube if you look up uh, abandoned gas masks I guarantee you'll find the video. You'll see crates of these just sitting outside of this warehouse, and they had these hundreds of these warehouses, if not a couple dozen throughout Hungary that had massive stocks of these masks and bunkers that had stocks of these masks. So it's not like it was very uncommon. They're actually very, very mass-produced and uh, very, very cheap to make. Um, it's canvas-coated rubber, so it's basically... If you look real closely, that's that's canvas, and uh, on the inside it's rubber. And basically, what that means is they cut out the canvas and they painted the inside with rubber. And I believe that's how it worked. Um, eye pieces are actually very big, um, and they're outward. It's kind of odd design on how they're even clamped on there. Very very odd mask. Um, it's probably one of the creepiest masks I own. So I actually will go a little bit more in depth on the inside of it. As simple as it gets, uh, there's a little chin rest right here. Which I'll actually try and pull up for you so you can see it right here. A little chin rest that never, your chin never seems to ever sit in. It's an exhale, it's an inlet, eye pieces, there's no tissot tubes, there's nothing like that. So this thing fogs up like a mother. Uh, try not to get demonetized. <laughs> um, so anyhow, uh, these masks were uh, used in riots, actually. I forgot to mention that. These were used in riots in 2006 and 2018 in Hungary. Um, you can see pictures of those online. I probably already showed a few of them, I guarantee you. So I'm just going to throw the mask on, and then I'll show you the bag, and uh, we'll wrap this video up. So this mask really doesn't like to seal to my face very good. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass, actually. But uh, it's really hard to hear me in this thing. Uh, it's got this little head thing that goes around, and then it's got one of these things that just goes around your neck like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure you probably can't even hear me in this thing because this thing's ridiculous. Um... Yeah, it's not even really sealing to my face, to be completely honest with you guys. I haven't really gotten it. It's just so hard to get this thing tightened out correctly. Uh, there's a little flip on this on. As you can already see, it's fogging up like no other. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyhow, I'll show you this which is basically the same type of filter that what it came with this it's slightly slightly bigger than a gp5 filter i know currently i have my pmk's filter on here um just because i i do trust that one um i probably shouldn't um 
And these guys are very similar to the ones that were issued. They were the exact same size, exact same shape. They looked like this, just painted a slightly lighter, kind of almost foresty green color, not a olive drab color. So last thing, but not leastly, we got the bag. And this bag is actually not the worst. It's kind of like an upgraded GP5 bag with snaps. I actually got snaps. And it's uh, the inside. There's not really any markings from what I remember. There's this little divider in there. and I'm sure you can't see it, but there's a divider in there for the filter. So that's pretty cool. Anyhow, this is a pretty sweet mask. Um, you can get these on the surplus market or on eBay for anywhere between... 20 to 40 dollars and honestly i'd recommend picking one of these up for the price of about 30 i wouldn't recommend spending much more than that um i do think that it isn't really a functional mask and that these are more or less just for display purposes at this point um i think you'd have a real hard time trying to get one of these to function i think there's a million other options that for the same price you can go for that would honestly be better hell a gp5 would be better than this um and it's nothing against the mask i love the way that this thing looks it's just practicality wise it's it's not this is one of the most uncomfortable gas masks if not the most uncomfortable gas mask i own i think this one actually takes the cake as the most uncomfortable gas mask i own um it looks awesome but it does not feel awesome on your face so take that as you will anyhow you guys have a great rest of your day i'm sorry that this video was shorter than typical i may throw you guys a bone and do a uh, a video on soviet gas mask sizes and how to read um, where they came from if you guys would like that because I can actually read what factory or what city that they were manufactured in um, the year and what time of the year that they're made in and the lot numbers I'm able to describe. So I, I kind of want to do a video describing that to everybody um, and give a much more clear analysis on the Soviet gas mask sizes. Anyhow guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to uh, like this video, comment if you'd like, dislike if you'd like, and uh, Subscribe and uh, throw that notification bell on. You guys have a great one.